To understand the, how Reconstruction represented a radical change in American history, you have to very quickly remind ourselves of what was the status of African Americans, let's say on the eve of the Civil War, 1860. In that year, there were about four million slaves in the United States. There were also half a million free blacks, four million slaves. Slavery was by far the most important economic institution in the country. Slave owners had controlled the federal government for most of the period from the Constitution to the Civil War. Unlo uh, contrary to what many people seem to believe, slavery was not going away. It was thriving, it was growing, it was expanding. There were, it was profitable. There were more slaves in the United States in 1860 than in any other moment in our entire history. But slavery shaped the whole conception of American nationality before the Civil War. On the eve of the Civil War, 1857, the Supreme Court in the famous Dred Scott decision ruled that no black person could be a citizen. Citizenship was just for white people. Blacks were aliens. They were not part of what Chief Justice Roger Torney called the American family. They had, as he said in his infamous opinion, they had no rights which a white man is bound to respect. And this was the dominant view in white America in the pre-Civil War period. The only people who put forward a different vision of an America where citizenship and rights were severed from a connection with race was the abolitionist movement, black and white, which put forward this other view of that anybody born in the United States is a citizen, whatever their race, and that all citizens ought to enjoy basic equality before the law. That view was written into our laws and constitution during the Reconstruction uh, period.